I'm Amy, and this is my partner, Elusive. Ellie! Come on. This is my partner, Elusive, Ellie for short. And today we're going to talk to you about why it's so important that you get your rabbit spayed or neutered. <laughs> for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. I work with rescue rabbits at my local animal shelter to help them become friendly and happy around people. And I also help to educate my fellow volunteers so that they will understand rabbit behavior and rabbit care. So if you are interested in more information about rabbits and rabbit facts and rabbit health, anything along those lines, then hit that little subscribe button and the notification bell next to it so that you know when all my new videos come out. Now today we are going to talk about why you really should spay or neuter your rabbit. Now many people will think this is unnecessary if you just have like a single rabbit in your home or two rabbits of the same gender, but it really is important for your rabbit's overall health and it can help quite a bit with behavioral issues that arise as your rabbit matures. First and most importantly, I want to talk about the health benefits of getting your rabbit spayed or neutered. This is especially important for female rabbits. So any of you that have a female rabbit at home, it's, it's vitally, vitally important that you go and get them spayed once they reach maturity. The actual statistics are pretty frightening because if you look at the studies, there's an 80% chance that your rabbit will get uterine cancer by the time she is six years old. That's a very, very high number and it's, it's not the kind of statistic you want to mess with. If you want to keep your rabbit healthy and happy for, for as long as they can live, then you really want to get her spayed. Domestic rabbits have an expected lifespan of about 10 years. So six years is only about half of their lifespan. And if you get your rabbit spayed, you can potentially have so many more happy years with your companion rabbit. So you really do want to get your rabbit spayed. Now male rabbits aren't quite as dire an issue. I've known many people who've decided not to neuter their male rabbits and I don't think that's necessarily a horrible thing, though it does tend to solve behavioral problems. The health implications are not quite as bad. However, there is about a four to five percent chance that they'll end up getting some kind of prostate cancer. Getting them neutered would virtually eliminate that chance. I still recommend getting a male rabbit neutered, but it's not quite as concerning as the female half of the equation. Now let's talk about some of the behavioral issues that can come up if a rabbit has not been spayed or neutered. Both male and female rabbits are more likely to become territorial and aggressive if they are left unaltered. They can be very sweet when they're young rabbits and then all of a sudden they'll reach maturity and they'll start to snap. They'll start to get aggressive, they'll bite, they'll charge. They won't be that sweet, cuddly rabbit that you used to know when they were younger. This doesn't happen with all rabbits, but with many, many rabbits, they become territorial and they get frustrated because their hormones are still raging. Rabbits that have not been neutered are also more likely to exhibit some obnoxious behaviors such as uh, spraying urine around the house to claim their territory or spreading their poops around the house. Uh, those, are, those are two ways that rabbits will claim their territory by spreading their scent. They are also more likely to have destructive behaviors, so they'll be more likely to dig into the carpet or chew on things that they shouldn't and just overall be bigger troublemakers than if they were to get fixed as a general rule, so I can't make any prom promises for a specific rabbit, but most rabbits will become calmer and easier to handle and easier to keep as house pets if you get them fixed. The other reason to make sure that you get your rabbit spayed or neutered is to prevent overpopulation. Because rabbits multiply like rabbits. <laughs> and that means they can have a lot of babies very, very quickly. While this isn't so much of an issue when you bring your first rabbit home, it can become an issue once you try to bring a second rabbit home to bond with them. So if you happen to have two rabbits that are different genders, maybe you didn't even realize one of them was female because they can be misgendered when they're young. Now all of a sudden you can have a whole bunch of little baby bunnies 
that you need to find homes for. And the problem is shelters can often become overpopulated and be unable to take in more rabbits. So it'll be your job to find new homes for these baby bunnies. If you plan on having more than one rabbit, absolutely you should get them fixed. Now let's talk about the process of getting your rabbits neutered. When can they be neutered? Rabbits can undergo the spay or neuter process once they reach the age of maturity. This will vary a little bit depending on your specific rabbit, but males will usually become mature at about four months old and females will usually become mature at about six months old. So around that point in time, you can go find a rabbit vet and talk to them about getting your rabbit fixed. As rabbits age, as they become elderly, it does become a little bit more dangerous to perform the surgery. So if your rabbit is older than six years, talk to your vet before getting a surgery. If your rabbit is still in good health, it might not be that dangerous, but it is important to make sure that there are no underlying health conditions at that point because going under anesthesia is kind of inherently dangerous and becomes more dangerous as rabbits get older. That's something that you want to take care of when your rabbit is younger so that you then don't have to make that choice when they're older of whether or not to get them fixed. Now this brings up another point, is surgery safe? I know many people are afraid to go get their rabbit fixed because they're afraid that it's not a safe procedure. And the reality is that yes, there is some risk inherent anytime you put a rabbit under anesthetic. However, if you do your research and find a veterinarian that is a rabbit veterinarian, so not one that normally works with cats or dogs, but a rabbit veterinarian, they often will be called exotic animal veterinarians. If you can find a good veterinarian who works with rabbits, has, does this surgery all the time, then there is a less than 1% chance that anything's going to go wrong in the surgery. So as long as you do your research, there's not all that much risk for a healthy young rabbit, especially with female rabbits. If you consider the very high chance that they will get cancer in just a few years versus the less than 1% chance that something will go wrong during the surgery, it's really an obvious choice. And getting a male rabbit neutered is actually a much easier and less dangerous procedure than with female rabbits, so there's even a less chance of anything going wrong in those surgeries. So yes, there is still a risk in neutering surgeries, however, I still recommend that you do your research and find a good vet for your rabbit and get them fixed. If you're interested in more information about rabbits and how to keep a happy and healthy bunny in your home, then go ahead and click that subscribe button and the notification bell next to it. And I am so glad that you're here and I hope to see you next time. <laughs>